Gentlemen, so nice to be back. Hi, Terry. Kirby. Lovely to see you again. Joy. You know, twice in one week. This is a rare this privilege. Is, you'll this, be is moving getting, in. this is getting a lovely <laughs> habit. <laughs> You know, this is like, you know, a two by two by two. I mean, two great bespoke tailors, two incredible suits, and twice in one week, I mean, you well, know, what have I done to deserve four this? four suits, the amount we've Should seen, they? you know. But we are charging him rent, though. Oh, are we? Okay. Yeah. Well, you got to make that. That's right, yeah. Well, I mean, it's been a long journey, you know, but this is the Savile Row kind of proper bespoke process. Yeah, but it's yeah. worth it in the long run, isn't yeah. it? It's, 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 yeah, well, <laughs> you know, from what I've seen so far, I think that uh, well, we'll be really happy. You, and, you, of you, course, the viewers of the judges themselves will find in the comments here soon. <laughs> Absolutely. You <know. laughs> but you, 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 you can't rush. You can, but it's hopefully they come yeah. out like they are now, hopefully. Um, and you, you dress so well. We've got, we, we don't want to let the side down, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you like that with all of your customers. I mean, whenever we started this, you know, one of the things that kind of helped make this all happen is, you know, amongst the best dressed people I know in London, and this is completely, you know, genuine and honest, the one thing they share in common is that you two gentlemen do all their suits. <laughs> and so there's a certain journey where someone may start somewhere else, but, you know, as they kind of get in the know and kind of, um, you know, really kind of travel around London, they all end up here. I think what people like mainly is we won't let it go until we're happy. Yeah. Yeah, if you're happy, fine. But... We've got to be happy with a well, suit. Plus, we, Terry and I discuss prices, and we know that there's some crazy prices around. Yeah. Stuff. We'd, we pay a certain amount for shoes. It has handmade ones. I've had handmade ones. And there's a certain price. And it's a certain price that we would pay for a bespoke suit, and that's what we govern our prices around. Yeah. You know, we, I mean, you, you've got to stop somewhere. You hear yeah. some horrendous prices, although they may warrant, you know, the clothes yeah. would probably warrant that price. But you guys know. are exceptionally reasonable. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you two gentlemen, you know, have had, you know, incredible careers. I mean, decades doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you bring that experience, which in tailoring, correct me if I'm wrong, I'd say matters. And oh, we're still does, learning, yeah. aren't we, yeah. Tell? And we're, we're still learning, learning all the time, aren't we? I yeah. mean, I look Otherwise. at your clothes. That's your modesty. And I look at, you know, no, in fact, I look at your clothes and think, I quite like the way he's done that collar. Yeah. You know, well, that's not bull, that's a yeah. fact. He's a very kind and generous man. Beautiful but, clothes. I mean, not to understate. Compliment him when you see him. You know, I mean, the two of you, I mean, really span, you know, a century. I mean, you were trained, you know, by tailors that were learning in the early 20th century. Yeah, right? correct. I mean, like, oh, yeah. for, for sure. 17th. And, look, yeah. and I look at it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, you've had this incredible career all through, you know, the late 20th into the early 21st. And then, Terry, you trained with John, you know, back whenever you Long started. Long time ago, when flares were fashionable. Yes, back whenever <laughs> people were wearing bell pills. bottoms. Yeah. Um, and then you've had this incredible career, and then you two have kind of come full circle and now are here at Ken Haste and Lacter, and you know, doing it properly together. Both of us yeah. were privileged, because Terry worked with some good guys, but I think we're both privileged, because some of those tailors were fantastic. I mean, they really were. It really was the golden era. It was. Forget the weight of the cloth, that helped, but they were... There were a lot of talented guys yeah. out there, there were, yeah. We always said, in going back to the 70s, you know, <laughs> we will get together one day and have our own thing, and it has gone full it circle. It is, full it? circle. We're, yeah, it's incredible. And, and we're quite proud of what we've done because we started cold, if you like. It was cold. Wasn't and it? as many people <laughs> do. And uh, thanks to you, lovely guys, and, you know, loyal customers. We, we had some great help from our loyal customers, didn't we? Yeah, yeah very much. So we got yeah, some great customers. And really loyal. All the suits when they needed all the suits because we were now being a, not so much struggling, but, it, you know, yeah. COVID and all that. Well, it really speaks to the, just the sacred relationship one develops, you know, over the years and hopefully decades I with their you. tailor. <laughs> <laughs> he does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Samba's back there, you know, as the uh, referee yeah. to this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Does she work here? Oh, yeah, I she's, she's here. I don't know where I she works. I guess I saw her with the teller, you know, kind of. Uh, <laughs> doing all the work. Yeah, doing all the While work. John and I were sitting yeah. drinking yeah. tea and coffee. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, I like that. I like the sound of that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we did two great pieces. I mean, one, you know, really, I think, drawing on your unique experience and relationship and history with the late Duke of Edinburgh. Thank you. You know, I mean, really kind of stretching back into you know, what in, in today's standards would be considered a little bit of a vintage style. Yeah, which think? is now the thing, isn't which it? Which is the thing, is all yeah. things come from. You know, everybody's circle. buying, as you circle. know, you've, you're, you're big into it and, and you, you've got a great eye. And um, yeah, I've, I've hoped to keep it vintage, but not old hat. Yeah. I'm not, no, no, I'm no, not old hat. You know? I like it 
just the correct bits, but not yeah. old hat. I'm not really, yeah. you know, I want it to be. Well, it's something. really kind of a tip of the hat yeah. to a particular <laughs> style, but it's still certainly yeah. very relevant still, and updated. You know, acceptable in this 21st century, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. And then, Terry, you did a great kind of odd pair of trousers and an odd jacket uh, in, you know, the house tweed. Yeah, just is, to give you the country look yeah. and also something to wear yeah. in the city at yeah. the weekend. So it's really, I mean, it's a double bespoke commission. I've got the city suit, I've got something for the weekend. And uh, two absolutely beautiful And I know pieces. you love the Terry's trousers. The color of that's beautiful, isn't oh, that it? Brown. And it went lovely with the shoes you had on that, yeah. that first fitting. I mean, without question. Good color. And yeah. you lost the pair you really liked, <laughs> yes, if you well, remember. <laughs> this is finally reuniting me with that <laughs> uh, beautiful pair of brown trousers. Didn't see them again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is a fantastic color. It's like a brownie gray, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You know, foxes do do some fantastic colors, don't they? Yeah, but it's also the beauty of a great tailor is being able well, to pull those things out Right, right. We, because I mean, you know, we've got hundreds of books, yep. thousands of swatches of cloth, mm. you know, but it's the tailor's eye and knowledge of the cloth that really is that. And, you know, and your and your personality, mm -hmm. you, you, you can put things on that perhaps other people wouldn't look good in. You've got, I've noticed what you wear, you've got a variation on all your, on all your clothes and the, obviously the guy knows his stuff and he's selling you fabrics that mm -hmm. suit you. Yeah. And uh, he does a great job, as I said. I'd love to meet him one day. Yeah, well, <laughs> who knows? You know, they say the same. Uh, you know, <laughs> guys. Um, so where do we go? I mean, so who's? Uh, have you guys uh, rock paper? I, used, I, I mean, usually go start? first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back and watch. And you watch. So Terrence is going for, and let the judge hopefully yeah. not fall off the, the judge chair. perched in the corner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, let's. So uh, I'm gonna let you do your thing. We'll go first. Yeah. Let's do the honors. Try yours All first. Right. Thank you. There we are. Yeah. Well, here we go. Here we are. Here we go. I'm in. At last. Oh, I look nice. These are beautiful. They look very good. Yeah, so just lengthened your right leg a little bit and then put that out a little bit on the side just to allow that pleat yeah. to close. But yeah, yeah, that's it. Now, one question. So this pleat right falls right center with the laces and this one's slightly to the right. What is, like, is it a twist? I've braced it. It's like, oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. I think I probably yeah, overbraced it yeah. as such. <laughs> um, well, John, what do you think? The judge? Lovely plates. <laughs> English way. Tri very traditional, which is what we want. Tuck these in so we can see point them. The point is having a continental plate and coming to an English tailor, I do believe. <laughs> no, that's, they're lovely. Four plates are very nice mm -hmm. as well. We get a lot of no plate trousers, yeah. which haven't got yeah, what's quite, your opinion? quite what's the, the character. What's the house opinion on pleats? Well, I love forward pleats. I'm not a mad lover of reverse pleats. It always okay. sort of reminds me of the 80s, yeah. and I sort of try to get away yeah. from that. I just think they look so much nicer coming forward they than they do reverse. Really like yeah. What about pleats versus no pleats? Ooh, I like both. Oh. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Diplomatic. I do. Like that, Diplomatic. I do. Yeah. I have I'm with you. I've got some with pleats, pleats. And I've got, as I'm wearing now, just knock about. Is yeah. it well? No pleats. But I think pleats look. Tailored, don't yeah. they? No pleats. You buy off most, mm -hmm. you know, off the rack. It's pretty well all no pleats. You very rarely get pleats. So yeah. we like to promote pleats because it's uh, much harder to cut. Mm -hmm. Gives us more work, but the satisfaction of seeing them yeah. hang like that, you know. Well, just I mean, having the extra fabric, you can have something in your pocket. It's it not does cool. help. Yeah, really. I've just literally the last year of my latest trousers have got pleats in. Oh, really? Just, just within the last year. Within the last year. Yeah, your cool dry ones are pleated, aren't They're they? Pleated, Those right. white cords. You've got, yeah. we've got this big, very big needle, uh, elephant type mm -hmm. cord. I don't know what they call yeah. it. And he just made his son with quite, quite deep pleats yeah. as well. They were a yeah, bit deep deeper, yeah, mm -hmm. quite deep. Quite yeah. wider and two and a quarter inch yeah. turn up. So what are the hallmarks you think? I mean, these are bespoke trousers, of course, perfectly cut. I mean, they they fit very comfortably, especially high waisted, cut for tra uh, for braces, right? So um, I don't feel it at all on the waist. It's hanging on the shoulders. But to your eye, as a as a you know an expert tailor, bespoke tailor that's been doing this for as long as both of you gentlemen have, what is it that you look at and say, you know what, that's right, that's right, that's right? Well, we're just I mean, John will say the same. But we're just looking for the pleats to hang nicely, the fly to be nice and clean, the pockets not to be pulling open, mm -hmm. um, and the legs to be nice. And, and straight. you said it all. The height of the trousers. Mm. You know, you buy one off the rack, not 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 knocking it as as we say. But they're usually quite low, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And that's not a high waist, but it's 
as you just put it, it's a comfortable waist. Yeah. When they're under there, they drop and your mm. shirt comes out. And, but, you know, this is fully bespoke. And when you buy, you know, we can be a bit cocky because we're making it all day long. But there yeah. are certain people that obviously can't go to our, our price range. But yeah. if you can, this is how proof of the pudding really, isn't yeah. it? And the fabric is good. Great, co great yeah, colour. Beautiful. And so I know you feel it, nice wearing oh, it. It feels, feels very comfortable. Yeah. Great colour. Yeah. Well, what about the jacket? Right, yes. we'll get the jacket. Beautiful thing about that is that you could wear that with a classic blazer because mm -hmm. it's, I don't object to brown with blue blazer. I think that's quite nice. And it's, it's a grey brown anyway. And those lovely shoes you had on the other day with it, blazer, yeah. nice handkerchief, cutaway mm -hmm. shirt, first class. <laughs> ah, this is amazing. I mean, you can just feel it fall into place. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> so what I did last time, for me, I just gave you a little bit more across the back. And it probably yeah. feels slightly looser now, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, great. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You may want to put a little slip over, a little V-neck slip over. Really, you know, yeah. if it's come here and it's a mm -hmm. wee bit cold, but not cold enough for an overcoat, and just that little bit of ease, it's uh, it goes with that tweed anyway. You mm -hmm. wouldn't cut that skimpy, I wouldn't have thought. I mean, what a beautiful tweed! It's I mean, beautiful, just, isn't it? The, it is, isn't it? And we did cheat and give you a, a Milanese button. Oh, <laughs> look at that! Uh, nice little detail <laughs> here. Bit, um, of, bit of Italian flair. <laughs> and I love the visual texture of this tweed, it's right, with the basket it? weave pattern. Yeah. Um, and then it has an incredible depth uh, to the color with the black. Yeah, you haven't got it quite on, that's it. Yeah, yeah we had it slightly off. off. But that came from a design which was made in the an English tailor. It might have been made by James and James. I know we made stuff at Horse and Curtis mm -hmm. when we both worked there. But it, it's based on the gray one that a stair wore with a button down shirt, but with a big loop on the collar, which I love, and a small knot. Mm -hmm. And it was exactly that pattern, but in grey. Really? And he wore sort of dark grey flannels with it. Mm -hmm. We didn't get that idea from that. We just liked it, didn't we? Yeah. We liked it. I think I made one for Nick Fowkes. I found mm -hmm. a, an old cloth many, many years ago. And John and I were That's talking. Right. And yeah. we, decided, we said, what about yeah. some blue? What should it's we do? What should we very do? Very successful. We've made gilets yeah. out of it and everything, so basically. we did it in blue. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Good yeah. combination, no? A good balance. He's happy oh, yeah. at the back. Just just shoulders lovely. are lovely. It's our shoulder line. It's slightly yeah. natural with a kick on the end. Yeah. 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 No, I don't yeah, think it speaks please. for itself. You don't have to really sell please. something. It's just, and you, I mean, you wear it well, which helps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's what we do, really, isn't it? We yeah, it comment lovely, in, it? but yeah. it's what we do. That's why we thank mm. God busy. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable? Well, it's incredibly comfortable. And that, I think, is the hallmark of a truly great bespoke suit is not only does it look great but it feels great yeah a good friend always said that you know if your tailored clothing is not the most comfortable clothing you're wearing it's because it wasn't made to fit well mm. and yeah. if something fits proper i mean i don't feel you shouldn't anything feel in the waist. you shouldn't feel pressure it, on the shoulders yeah. the beautiful thing about our tailoring as against not knocking it but already mm. made or whatever and there's some good ones out there is that um they 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 start to take your shape Mm -hmm. You know, you look like you should be standing in a window at the mm -hmm. moment, modelling it. But <laughs> Can we just what put I'm you saying in the is, <laughs> once it starts to soften, like I've seen yours, you know, they've got a bit of character to them, and they look terrific. It's once um, it's like sprays once, on. Once they there, sort of it? soften, I mean, that, that looks too good, is what I'm trying to say in a funny sort of way. I kind of knock it about a bit. Oh, yeah. now. So if we can have you in the window for a couple. Yes, of if days. I can just stand there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. you, need, you need to wear it now. Give it so some wear. Give it a try. It it's perfect beautiful. for the, uh, yeah. you know, the you know, 100 degree weather we have. <laughs> oh, yeah, lovely for this one. <laughs> yeah. you, brought, you brought good weather with you, but unfortunately yeah, you may not be able to wear me. that. In there. Yeah. It'd be lovely over the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's 37 degrees. Outfit, 37 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, anything else? I mean, this is. I think. I just you know, think it looks so nice. I think it really I mean, needs it's, it's, some wearing I mean, only, now. It needs to take your body shape. And then mm. if you're over, well, hopefully you're over again and we see you, we've got to go out to lunch with you or something. Indeed. And uh, we'll have then a look we at like, it. So we we, Terry and I call it, what, the 500 mile run out. Mm -hmm. You know, like your car. Give it a 500 yeah. mile run out. And if there's anything develops, then we... Let it kind of settle in. You know, yeah, it needs to settle it's in. Cloth, All your handwork needs to loosen and soften up. It will soften up around there. 
the arms and the, through the shoulders. It's not sheet metal, it's cloth, and it takes, it takes different forms, which yeah. is lovely, actually. Well, I couldn't be any more happy. I mean, this is just such an elegant combination. This blue, these brown goes trousers. goes really well with it, doesn't it? Uh, you lovely know, the difference in the texture. On the vents. You know, I like that kick you've got on the vents. I like that. I haven't got vents in mine, so mine will hug, but that's got that nice, that kick, not yeah, that sort of... Yeah, it's just got a bit more flair. Yeah, a bit more flair. Yeah, you, I like it. It's lovely. You couldn't do that with no It's what we do, it? isn't it? Cool for. Well, well done. Brilliant. Terry. Thank you. <laughs> that's well, been I mean, this is, you know, truly a master's work. <laughs> well, Sam he's done the that. trousers. I'm going Amazing. home. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, you you, you volunteered him no, first, no, but this I mean, is going to be a tough act to shame. follow. Why didn't I go first? That's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> no, it's lovely. Yeah. The cloth is fabulous. You look great in it. Hope you feel great yeah, in it. Gentlemen. Because that's what it's all about. Yeah. I feel amazing. Yeah. Well, great. Well, well, give it a go. Shall we give John a go next? We will. Oh, no. Yep. about all I need, isn't it? <laughs> go on. Where's my, is it down there, Sam? Trousers are in the fishing Do I go right with there. you? If you want to. Do I go? My, excuse my bad walking. No. Well. Good. This is another. Forgive the old boy just propping, bang on plopping down. Whoa, far away. How do you feel? I mean, I hardly even know I'm wearing trousers right now. <laughs> well, the, the thing is that mine are slightly higher because you may wear them of Terry's, those lovely mm -hmm. ones you just tried on, with out braces. Mine, yeah. although I've got side straps on them, mm -hmm. I just think that finishes the band. Okay. I, I wouldn't want you to take the braces off and then heave them in to try mm -hmm. and keep them up. Yeah. They're strictly a, a wintry type suit yeah. that you're wearing braces. Mm -hmm. And the body isn't extremely high, but I've cut the backs up a, a good inch, yeah. but I haven't gone you know, ridiculously mm -hmm. high because uh, I don't think that's your style. Yeah. I mean, that's because I've noticed the clothes you wear and you've got braces on them and they come up nicely. Mm -hmm. I've gone a little bit overboard. I've gone up probably half an inch, three quarters of an inch higher than possibly your tailor in, in the States. Yeah. But it's not, which mm -hmm. was lovely, by the way. They came right up the yeah, back. Almost Trouble the mid-back. You can see the top through your jacket mm -hmm. because, they're, you know, you've got the conglomeration yeah. of the buttons. It's just what I call a... A traditional but with a little bit of a modern feel in regards of the height of the back but yeah. it's how i cut them well for the duke and that's what he wore four pleat trousers he always wore never yeah. wore anything else but four pleat trousers so i mean they're beautiful i don't even know i mean having said that are, are they, can, they comfortable yeah, in the full i haven't made them slack as you can see mm -hmm. i've just got before you take the i've got a little bit of pressing i i leave um, Fortunately or unfortunately, I leave a lot of inlay inside because I get lots of customers coming after two or three years and from other companies mentioning yeah. no, no. Could you let the waste out? Mm -hmm. Look inside, no cloth. Yeah. I've gone overboard. I, I'm yeah. ridiculous. If you look inside there, good you, insurance. Could, you could you could let them out yeah. quite a lot, which hopefully you never go up yeah. that much at all. <laughs> <laughs> well part of the um, you know I guess part of the benefit of a bespoke garment is the fact that there are these inlays sure. that if your weight does fluctuate. You can sure. take it back to the tailor and there's cloth to allow the trousers to be let out on. And you know, we don't use that, uh, what's the term? It's, it's, I can't think of the term. In other words, if you went up half an inch, well, you expect, you expect us to have cloth in there. You've gone up half an inch. You could go up two or three inches, God forbid, but you could still let those out. But it's, it, it just, <laughs> needs, me a just needs a little bit, <laughs> needs a little bit of pressing. I don't think we're going to allow that. <laughs> no, we? we're not going to allow that. <laughs> we, just, so. we just need to press where I've less than, left an excess of inlay, but I wouldn't cut it off. Yeah. I don't cut, I like inlay. Yeah. So let's see what we got. If it goes as good as the trousers, I might, I don't think I can compete with Mr. Ace, but it's a different suit. You're still not going to get a rise. We see, I'm still not going to get a rise. No. That's not very nice, is it? Yeah. <laughs> let's just get some of these little bits wow. where they've been pressing there we are right let's see what we got well i'm getting near there terence i'm well, nearly there last time so <laughs> <laughs> let's have you let's have you around Kobe, so i can yeah well, uh, this one obviously oh, yeah. hasn't got any vents and uh sorry there's a basting cotton in there which i can't get we need a pair of twice a little teeny basting co cotton in. i'll get it in a minute yeah, but that basically the that's the bit i i try and excel mm -hmm. on because you're you know, I'm I'm very square and get that ridge on the yeah. back. You're quite high in you know in the nape, so mm -hmm. so to speak. So I love to keep, I, I really love to keep um, that yeah. collar 
and I notice on your style, mm -hmm. not that I'm following your other tailor, but they tend to rise. I love that look, mm -hmm. rather than that yeah. flat look. It, I think it just suits your style, to be honest with you. Yeah. I love the yeah, no pleats. It's, uh, Let's see. That's you know, what can I say? It's yeah. just a classic bag. Can I just see the front? Just let me, I like to do that to make sure it's not nice. No, I let that out from last time. Yeah, that was pinching much you. more comfortable. Yeah, well, it was I that. Mean, I don't feel it believe at all. it or not, that was a quarter of an inch. Really? It's not. It wasn't even that. But if you were to measure, if you were to measure that piece of wood mm -hmm. and took a quarter of an inch off that, wouldn't mean a thing. Mm -hmm. Quarter of an inch in an area that's not very big is a lot. But it's it, it should have come full because it was catching you right there. Does it feel comfortable now? I've been it's just a kidding. very just beautiful cloth. It's amazing. I you mean, make a, you can make a bad one out yeah. of that and it still looks good. Front. I mean, I don't feel it at no, all. No, what I did the, the alteration, which is wrong, was to cut a lump, a piece, a lump, a piece of. I've <laughs> I've let that come. It's a technical tailoring. Yeah, right. technical tailoring. Smidge. I've, I've let that come out and I cleared it one eighth because it need, and I narrowed the shoulder because that shoulder looked wider to me. It didn't measure wider. It just looked wider. Mm. Sleeve length is my sleeve length, which would probably <laughs> drive you mad, but I didn't want them halfway up. <laughs> yeah, I took right. a quarter of an inch off of both, and if you wear them or if you want us to shorten them a quarter, Mike, we'll do it with pleasure, sir. <laughs> yeah, in three months' time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it with pleasure. You put weight I mean, on by then and we'll have to lengthen I mean, it out. Yes, so but you put weight on by then and it's a charge if you put weight <laughs> on them. Right. We have to lengthen them again. We should have a scale right at the entrance. <laughs> Like, yeah, but that's it's, right. Um, yeah, it's let's just make sure that while we got you, that's not still tight. I don't think no, so. I, I, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I couldn't imagine it. <laughs> God forbid. No, I, Does it feel wanna, comfortable? I don't want to get it massive. I mean, look it looks awful. beautiful. Does it feel well? It's it's yeah. it's no different to yours. It's just cut. It's just a different. We both cut. We cut very similar, Terry, don't we? I mean, I really to be don't honest, want to go for a if he cut his... that, <laughs> if he cut that, no vents, mm -hmm. and I cut that with side vents. You would mine's possibly not quite as snappy as Terry. Cuts a little bit more waistline. But I've gone with a mm -hmm. I mean, the back's very wasted, but I didn't really yeah. want to make it too hourglassed in the front. Yeah. But you can't get more of a waistline no, with no vents. No, I couldn't get any tight. No, no, but I mean, with that, if, you, if you added vents on that, oh, yeah, it would yeah. have a similar look to your back, wouldn't it? It's yeah, only because yeah. it's hugging, which yeah. is what I wanted. I, I love that. Yeah. The only criticism I'll make with a lot of tailors, and I was taught this way by lots of fans, you see the way that comes in at the bottom? I don't like it when I call it the bell look, when it keeps going. Mm -hmm. I, I actually like that to, to hug. Yeah. It's just what I was taught. When you have no vents, I don't like that coming down and then turning out of the bottom. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do. It's just not my style. Yeah. That's just a wonderful... And the lapel... Kirby is exactly the same as Terry, is because I've got an angle gorge mm -hmm. on it. It looks narrower. It is actually three and a half, isn't yeah. it? We measured it, didn't yeah, we, Terry? Same, both they? the same, aren't they? I'm yeah. probably a little bit lower though, aren't I? Obviously yeah, you've gone lower because it's one button. Two, I like to <coughs> get that second button exactly on that pocket line mm. and then come up. Okay. If it was double breasted, I'd do the same, but if you wanted it long row, I'd make sure the buttons were equally spaced mm -hmm. either side of that pocket. But I like to get the second one there and then keep the one in the yeah. true waist. It's just... Oh, and this know, fabric, I mean, what a beautiful gray. Right? It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's got it's, visual detail up close. It is. The when I'm looking at it in the mirror. exactly the same, and he had a morning suit in the same as well, so... I mean, it's a brilliant choice of cloth. And that's got the whole McCoy. It's got wing pads. Okay. It's got lots of different bits that he liked. Yeah. So it's very authentic. I don't know if you want it that way, no, but it I is that way. That was the whole idea. <laughs> He's got, it's just, and I mentioned it before, so, and we made for Cary mm. Grant, not many suits in yeah. Halls and Curtis, which Terry and I trained uh, with. And um, he had, if you look at North by Northwest, you can mm. actually see that it's got wing pads in the back. It's really? kind of a fillet of wadding that creates that little bit of heaviness on the top, which I quite like. Yeah. Well, if you, mm -hmm. I quite like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you like. <laughs> well, Terry? What do you think? I think, I mean, it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, just check that arm hole. It isn't tight on that right side. It's not feel tight. it. No, no, it doesn't. It I mean, was, now that it's been it let was out. tight. Now that it's been let out, I can feel that it was previously <laughs> it tight. Was, it was, it was, I hate yeah. that. Well, you can feel the difference. Well, yeah, now that it's been let out, I, yeah. I yeah. can feel I, that it, it was you, previously all the tight. the pastings have come out. And yeah. Whereas before, I would have been like, well, it's really not that bad. Well, it was that look. I don't, you know, that look. I don't like that look. I like that look. Yeah. Which is what I've got, I think. I mean, this is beautiful. It's with your classic shirt and your lovely shirt. I think I may be able shirt. to wear this one out. 
Don't you think? Well, you can, I mean, it's something you can wear any time, can't you? That's that's the good thing with it. You oh can wear yeah. It. Well, no, I want to. What what I would have liked to. I've got to press the back of those trousers. Mm. I, it's only yeah. inlay, but that would take two yeah. seconds. Just let me check. Just just walk to the dummy and back, mm -hmm. and then just come back. He's still mulling. <laughs> Nice, that, that will settle. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I hate that being uncomfortable in the armor. I mean, all this about small armor is correct. It is if it's in the correct place. <laughs> I think that's fine, Terry. I don't think that needs yeah. deepening anymore, do you? No, no, no. I mean, I, I no. honestly don't. You're happy with it? I'm, as long yeah. as you're happy with it, I'm oh, yeah. happy. I, I just don't want you to be uncomfortable. I've cut it so close in the back, there isn't a quarter of an inch of spare over your bottom <laughs> and through your back, but that's how I wanted it. Yeah. Gorgeous. Well, well, it's it's, I mean, it's just a kind of anticlimactic at this point. I mean, like you reach here, it's so perfect. There's nothing to say. I it's, mean, it's just it's like, an English sorry about that. So <laughs> is what I wanted to create. I mean, if you wanted yeah. an Italian look, you know, you, you can go down you go to an Italian look. This <laughs> you came if you came in off the street and said, I've seen a picture of the Duke. I, I want you to copy that exactly. Yeah. That's it. This is it. Yeah. And the cloth itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying I would have copied the cloth. I don't yeah. want to give too many secrets yes. away. But he loved bird's eye. As I say, three-piece morning suit in it, mm -hmm. never been heard of. Yeah. Usually a pinhead or black mm -hmm. with the grey waistcoat. Yeah. He said, I'm fed up with him. Can you make me something different? I said, what about a bird's eye? He said, that'll do me. <laughs> yeah. And what about, I mean, how would you describe the effect of the Novins? I is just it think, it, is it very 30? No, it's very 30, but... No, it's probably more, yeah, more 40s, is it? 40s, 40s possibly. 30, 40, 30, 40, yeah. You look at it's some just, of... It is very the, slimming. It's just mm, nice figure except hugging, Except the coat. It? I mean, it shows you... You look at your back, it really shows the shape it, of your yeah, back. Yeah, if you see a lot of those... But they were longer coats. The wider trout, the Drake coat. Mm -hmm. Robert Mitchum, mm -hmm. always wore... In, probably made by Brioni or something. Yeah. But they actually absolutely hugged. And they made the waistline higher than me. You wouldn't have liked that. I've kept that waistline where I've taken all the suppression out mm -hmm. right on your true waistline. If you look at some of those films, they raise the waistline so from the armhole to where the waistline is, it's like nothing to come really in and back out. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that bit corny for me. That, yeah. that's, that's, what I've, I've all, that's how I was taught, and I've yeah. just done it the no vent way, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but well. we're going to make you some more clothes. I mean, and Kent is going to make well, you. It's, it's I'm going to make addictive. you some with vents it's in. It's slightly addictive, I say, <laughs> you two gentlemen. I'm going to make you. I'm going to make you some with vents yeah. in, just to prove I yeah. can do it. Well, now I see why every single time I come in here, it's so crowded. You know, once <laughs> someone has a first suit, you know, they don't even want to leave. <laughs> That's the idea. We don't let them leave. Yeah, no, we don't let them leave. Yeah, we just lock yeah. the door. You still have one back there right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've moved around on He's that, and that collar's never, it never <laughs> moved your neck. That collar's not. I'm looking at the collar, and it's never moved no, off your neck. Perfect, isn't it? I so, mean, again, that again is one of the just most distinctive hallmarks of a greatly, you know, put, perfectly it? executed bespoke yeah. suit is just yeah. that point. Right there at the neck. I mean, I can. It should go you know, straight back. There you go. Go straight yeah, back. You know. back I'll do that. Should up go up here in my library. Yeah. You know. There you go. And straight there. back. Yeah. Shouldn't leave your neck. Hopefully. Back. If it does, you know where we are. <laughs> and <laughs> the we're sleeves. Next I mean, week. We're moving look next the, week. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Just yeah, that it's, of sleeves. it's. I cut a fifty-fifty sleeve. Okay. We argue and about it all the time. And Terry, oh, well, and Terry cuts a false forearm sleeve. Okay. Now, the reason that's a 50-50, I was going to go the whole way for you, but you wouldn't wear it, I don't think. I was, you see, with a 50-50 sleeve, it's very military. Okay. And if you look at the Duke of Edinburgh and all the royal family, you see that crease down the front? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you can do that with that sleeve. You just crease it right down that seam. And it's pressed You in. can't do it with a false forearm because the mm. seam's underneath. Yeah. I was going to press it in and then take it out for uh. like, But I thought, <laughs> he'd go, what the hell you done to my suit? But if you look, the Duke of Edinburgh and all of the royal family have got a knife edge crease. It comes from tunic, from a really? tunic. Okay. And that's, that's why that seam's forward. Hmm. So if you want that done at see, some point, we at, can do it. That's a good, no, it's a good idea. See, so if you look at that tunic, mm -hmm. see where the seam's coming forward. Yeah. That's, it's based on the same that's thing. 50, it's what they call sleeve. a 50 50. So the undersleeve and the top sleeve are, are identical. Yeah. Terry's one where the undersleeve is slightly smaller. It's a great sleeve because you do get some customers don't, don't want to see the seam and some mm -hmm. customers want to see the seam. It, there yeah. is no set piece, really. Yeah. I, that, but that's a 50 50 sleeve. That's, 
We should precedent. Whatever that means. No, you've got to have a false <laughs> forearm. It's down your sleeve. Right? Yeah, here we go. We're arguing. Yeah. Here we go. False forearm is better than a 50 50. <laughs> and you weren't even going to mention that. I mean, this goes back to just the depth of knowledge that you have as a bespoke cutter, is these details that. Here we are talking about this on camera, and you just <laughs> yes. like, well, I wasn't going to mention it, but Kirby, I'm like, you know, since I'm I said like, something, you made an authentic suit, and you've given me a, f a false forearm sleeve. Mm -hmm. No, sir, 50-50. <laughs> and that's not something you cut on all your suits, right? This is something well, I cut you did. some false forearm. Yeah. I've got customers that won't have a 50-50. Yeah. Oh, wait, won't have a 50-50, yeah. really. Yeah, uh, sorry, he wants false no forearm. Names. So <laughs> it, it, horses for courses. I like a. There is no correct thing. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, it's just how you see it. Those sleeves have gone in perfect. The yeah. Terry's are perfect. It is what it is. I, I just wanted to do it the way... It makes it sound so easy. What it is. I just yeah. wanted, I wanted to <laughs> do it the way, tailors, the way you it. wanted it. I wanted to do a Duke of Edinburgh suit. Mm -hmm. You got one. I've got one. And you know what? <laughs> I mean, the height, I mean, this is a really high waist. I'm only a little bit trousers. higher than Terry's. It's just that it's that back rise. Yeah. When you get the lower rise and the braces are on, they tend to have mm -hmm. that feeling of being pulled on. Yeah. When you get that little bit more, they seem as if they're kind of relaxed yeah. a bit more. It's probably not a lot in it, to be honest with you. But, uh, they weren't yeah. mine, they were Sayumba's, by the way. Yeah, yeah, come, up, yeah Sorry. come up. Yeah, Sayumba did an excellent job. It's quite trousers. funny because... I've done that, if they go wrong, then I can blame them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were like that, blame the other person. We're big yeah. on that. Well, didn't she draft the jackets as well? Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 yeah these That'll come. In the, front <laughs> the idea yeah. is she cuts everything, then I just sit on there and... Yeah, we've noticed that, haven't we? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, okay, the legs playing me up, the legs playing me up. <laughs> well, John, I mean... What Enjoy it. It's been a pleasure, you know I mean? and I mean that. I love it because, you know, the old boy's gone, <laughs> and this is it's a bit nostalgic well, for me. I mean, I'm not going to cut for him anymore, so yeah. we've cut one. One last one. I'll do my best. Yeah, we'll carry on the trip. Good form. You know, this, is, this is what he wore, you know. Yeah, this is gorgeous. And, uh, and that ain't a lie either, so, you know. Yeah. It's, it's been fabulous for, I think, both, well, all of us, hasn't it? Yeah, we've really enjoyed it, haven't we, really? Yeah, I've enjoyed yeah. it. It's breaking up. You know, our, our week is lovely, but it's basically <laughs> like most businesses, you know, it's repetitious. Yeah. Mm. And this has been... This has been real, on last and actually time, you've got two suits that, ne <laughs> that nearly fitted as yes, well. Nearly. <laughs> Very nearly. Yeah. Very nearly. Yeah. Nipping well. up to Primark and getting a couple off the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to Suit Supply. That's, yeah. what we, that's where we went. Well... John, Enjoy. Thank you so much. You're very well. It's such an honor. I mean, to, to finally be, uh, well. you know, a member of the house of uh, Kent Haston Lactor, you know, <laughs> properly, you know, <laughs> properly indoctrinated with um, <laughs> such exceptional clothing. It's really quite exciting. You, you, so. you wear fabulous clothes. I think this is in a par. And it's a different style, but it's in know. a par. I'm going to feel You're pretty smart walking down the street in these garments. Well, well you've, yeah, got, the right, them, you've yeah. got the right shirt, that's perfect with that, and you, you love that, not this knot. Mm -hmm. I'm fortunate I'll put a bit of weight on and I'm yeah. filling in the gap, <laughs> but that's the perfect what, knot for it. Yeah. So everything's, yeah. you know, perhaps a nice little, plate, little plain spare. straight across white yeah. handkerchief, then you followed the duke, because that's what hat, an umbrella, <laughs> and I'm good to go, right? You've got the shoes. <laughs> yep, the shoes from Gatiano and Girling, again, perfect for this. Yeah. Well Sarah, done. Well done. Thank it's you been so a much. pleasure. Well, hopefully, this is the first of many commissions. Well, so thank, thank you. you. I, I want so. to make you something with side vents, just to <laughs> shut him <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, great. It was lovely. Yeah, yeah, thank got, you, we've son. got the cloth already. Yeah, we've yes, got the cloth. There you are. <laughs> nice red corduroy. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. It's been yeah. an education, my darling. Yeah. From an old boy, it's been something <laughs> different. Hardly. Hardly. We both really enjoyed this. There's nothing to teach you two. Yeah, we probably. loved it. But it's been fun to do it together. We loved it. I, mean, I love it. Do some more. Saved on video for Too prosperity's smooth. sake.
<laughs> wow, well, I mean, this suit is so incredible, I don't even want to take it off. I mean, what an absolute privilege to go through this bespoke journey with John Kent and Terry Haste. I mean, two absolutely exceptionally well-regarded tailors. Uh, and again, as I've spoken so many times on this film, the one thing that all of my best dressed friends here in London have in common is that they all come here. And so what a privilege, not just to go through this journey with them, but then also have these incredible garments created. This one inspired by the late Duke and then Terry's separates. Uh, these are gonna be two absolutely exceptional additions to my wardrobe. And of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.